Hi, friends. It's Lisa Hetrick, illustrator for Gina K Designs, and I'm so grateful you could join me today. I have a really fun card project to share with you today. Actually, two cards, and we're going to use all of the supplies that I have here. Here's the inspiration for the two cards. We're actually going to do these two cards a little bit different, but I'm going to talk about how we can create two cards with one vase die, and it's going to be super fun. I'm going to talk a little bit about card design and pattern design, and we're going to have some fun making these gorgeous spring cards. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I've got all of the supply links are listed down below in the description, but I'm going to be using the Fearless Joy stamp set and the companion die set. So I'm showing all of the things here that I'm going to be using, but again, all of the supplies are listed down below. I've got a variety of Gina K Designs inks that I'm going to be using, and I'm working from lights to dark. So I have two colors of green, two colors of yellow, two colors of pink, and a black. And I've got, um, and I'm using sweet corn, just love that color. I've got my blocks, I've got some sequins and embellishments, some uh, glue, and some of the supplies we need to just get started. Okay, so here are, here's the inspiration for the two cards that I'm going to create today. Now, I'm using the vase die, and all of the florals and the leafery in the Fearless Joy stamp set. And I'm going to be stamping them out at once. So we're gonna make both cards kind of at the same time. And we're just doing a little bit of a different technique with each one. Okay, we're going to get started with using the vase die from the uh, Fearless Joy stamp set. So I'm going to create a window in this piece of Gina K Designs layering white cardstock. So I have this cut to four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to position the vase on it and then just go ahead and run it through my die cutter. I'm using the Platinum Six die cutter from Spellbinders. I'm just gonna run it through so I can create that window shape in this piece of cardstock. So now you can see that I have a window and I also have a die for the vase. So we've got the first two components of both cards. We're going to create a pattern on the vase die by stamping a pattern on it. And then we're also going to use the window element um, and create a floral arrangement around it. So let's go ahead and get started with also cutting out the second base. So I've got the scalloped die from the master layouts. I'm running that through my die cutter and I've got this beautiful scalloped um, layering piece. And again, this is in the Gina K Designs layering white cardstock. And I am gonna layer that on top of the fresh asparagus cardstock. So when we go to put the card together. Now here's what I call building all of these card pieces at the same time. So I'm going to use this piece of Gina K Designs layering white cardstock. It's cut to five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to stamp out all of my elements onto the cardstock, and then I'm going to die cut them. So I'm getting all of my leafery elements out and putting them on my block and getting them ready to uh, stamp. So I am gonna speed this up just a little bit because I'm just stamping out all of the elements so it takes just a little bit of time. I've got all the leafery here and I'm going to stamp them out once with both colors. So I have jelly bean green and I have fresh asparagus. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up all of these stamps all at once on this block. You could do them individually if you'd like, but this is just a quick way to get all of the elements stamped. And I've stamped them in the fresh asparagus, cleaned off my stamp Stamps, and now I'm going in with the jelly bean green and I'm just stamping them alongside each other. I've left a little bit of room in between each stamp so that I can get the dies on each of the stamped elements and run them through my die cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the paper around and I'm going to stamp out this 
really pretty floral bloom. And I'm going to do two different colors on this bloom. So you can see that I'm inking up the top of the bloom with some wild dandelion, and I'm inking up the bottom of the bloom with a little bit of jelly bean green. And this is gonna give me that two-tone color in the bloom. So it, it looks a little bit like a forsythia, which I'm super excited to see starting to bud in my backyard. So I'm loving it. Love those two colors together. Now I've got the main bloom from the Fearless Joy stamp set, and I'm going to do some two-step stamping with this. I've taken the silhouette image and I've inked it up with some of the innocent pink. And now I'm going to take the line art image and ink it up with some passionate pink. And instead of turning it, I'm going to go right over top of it. Most of the time I turn it and make it a little bit wonky, but I'm gonna go right over top of it to get that two-step stamping look and feel and get that really nice contrast between the innocent pink and the um, passionate pink. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this same technique for the next two flowers. I've got the smaller flower I'm stamping out in the lighter color of sweet corn, and then taking the line art image and going over top of it with the wild dandelion. And I'm gonna do it again with this bud, and this, this not bud, excuse me, bloom. This bloom looks a lot like a hydrangea. So hint, hint, I've got a card tutorial coming up where I'm gonna create a hydrangea look and feel with that bloom. Anyway, okay, so I am just, I stamped that out in the passionate pink. And now for this one, I'm taking the line art image and I'm going over top of it with obsidian. And the reason why I'm using black is because I wanna add a little bit of contrast into the look and feel of that final card. Okay, so I'm taking my companion dies and I'm just lining them up. I'm gonna have to do this in a couple passes, run them through my die cutter, and I've got all of the embellishments that I'm going to be using to create the cards. And I actually just love seeing all of these embellishments just kind of cut out. I don't mind fussy cutting, but having that companion die set does make it pretty easy to get everything all at once. Okay, so now I'm pulling out my window, my vase window, and I'm going to add a background uh, pattern to the base of this piece of cardstock using sweet corn. And I've got the diamond shaped pattern builder that is in, in the Fearless Joy stamp set. And I'm just going to work from that upper right corner down towards the vase and create a little bit of a pattern just to add a little bit of extra texture and dimension to the final card. So it adds some layers, dimensions to the card without adding height to the card. Love that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to creating the pattern in the vase die cut piece. So I'm going to go ahead and get out, I'm gonna use the sweet corn and the wild dandelion for this. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a pop of innocent pink as well. I'm going to pull out the larger floral in the fearless die stamp set and ink it up and work light to dark. So I'm inking up the large floral with the sweet corn, and I'm just gonna stamp it out three times. So I started out from that lower bottom corner, worked my way up to the top to create that kind of Z shape that creates some visual interest in the vase design. Now I've grabbed the line art image of that large floral and I'm inking it up with some wild dandelion. And I'm repeating that same pattern of threes, but going in the opposite direction. And it's covering all of the white cardstock, but it's creating a layered look between the two colors. And I'm gonna bring this up so you can see when you layer Gina K Designs inks from light to dark over top of each other, 
They have that effect of watercolor, so you can see the color underneath. You've got a lot of layers in here that create a lot of dimension on this face dye. And I just love this look and feel from light to dark. Okay, so I've grabbed the little bloom from the Fearless Joy stamp set, and I'm going to use Innocent Pink. I'm gonna repeat that design composition by stamping it three times in the Innocent Pink. And the Innocent Pink is gonna give it a little pop of color, but not too much. It's not going to be super bold uh, in color because the Innocent Pink is such a soft color. But that little pop of color stamped out three times just gives that vase dye a little extra something. Okay, now that we have all of our elements stamped out, we're going to start to put together the cards. I've got this stamp that's next to the vase in the Fearless Joy stamp set that is a line that adds a little extra dimension to the vase. So I'm going to ink this up in the passionate pink and just stamp that down. I don't have this um, glued on yet, but I'm gonna stamp it down next to the vase here to just kind of give some more shape and texture to this final project. And I kind of boogered it up a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to just go ahead and put a little bit of foam squares on the back to just give this a little tiny bit of height and add this to the front of my A2 card. This A2 card is in innocent pink. And again, it's listed down below all of the supplies that I have used for this card tutorial. So I'm just popping that on. And I'm not so worried about that little smudge that I made because I'm going to be covering that up with some of the leafery embellishments. So now I'm just going to go ahead and move on and start to build my floral arrangement around the vase window. So to build the floral arrangement here, I'm just going to work with all of the pieces I have here. And I'm going to be using all three of the floral elements that I stamped out. All of the greenery kind of elements are going to go on the second card. So I'm just kind of divvying them up here on my work surface. And I've got my Gina K Designs glue, connect glue. I'm just going to add a little bead of glue on the back of all of these elements and just start making my floral arrangement. Now I'm starting from this little corner here and adding this leafery piece. And that's going to be my anchor piece for me to work from left to right. So I'm just kind of working my way around and adding the elements just to create different visual heights with the leaves and the greenery and the florals. And I'm just playing around and just kind of popping these pieces on. And I don't want to cover up too much of the pattern that I've created in that upper right hand corner. So I'm just kind of playing a little bit with the center and focusing a little bit more on the left hand side and just nesting the leaves and underneath the blooms and just working my way around. And you can see that I've just got this trailing kind of floral arrangement going and it's going to cover that little bit of schmutz that I got on there from the uh, Innocent Pink. And I'm just loving that. It's just a great way to cover up um, that little mistake that I made. And that's okay. We all do it. So now I'm just kind of futzing around with this last little um, piece of leafery. And I used the different combination of the fresh asparagus leaves and the jelly bean green leaves to get that variety of color and get that contrast in the design. And also with that one bloom that has a little bit of black in it, has that obsidian over top, it just gives us a little extra pop for that um, bloom right up there in that top center. I've added a little bead of glue onto the entire card and I'm just going to pop in some of these sequins just to kind of finish off this card. I'm not putting any sentiments on the card because I'm not sure what I want it to say yet, but those sequins just kind of finish off the card really nicely. I love all the texture and dimension that we have in this car without a lot of height. So super, super fun. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to putting together the second card. I've got my fresh asparagus card stock cut to an A2 size card. I've got my vase die, but my vase is just a little bit too 
big. So I'm going to talk you through this. This scallop die from the Master Layouts die has this stitching in it. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my knife, um, a little craft knife here, and just cut the stitching at the bottom so that I can nest that vase through the bottom of the scallop and have it, I'm just going to trim it off on the back here, but it gives it more of a finished look because it is going through the die cut versus sitting on top. And it just kind of finishes it off a little bit. I'm adding a little bit of glue and I'm going to go ahead and just nest that in there, just slide that right in there. And this is going to help me position my vase so that I can build my leafery arrangement around this vase. So you can see I'm just kind of sliding it right in the die cut and it finishes it off really nicely. And you know that that line is straight and it just looks super cute down in that lower right hand corner. Okay, so I'm taking the whole die cut piece and I'm going to, just adding a little bit of glue to the back of it, and I'm going to apply it right to the card front on that fresh asparagus. So I'm getting ready to assemble all of the other embellishments. The first thing I'm gonna do is I've got that little notch right there in the vase die, and I'm using that as my anchor to stamp in a, the leafery right there. So I am doing a combination of stamping some leaves down onto the cardstock base and then adding a bead of glue to all of the rest of the embellishments and using and just creating the layers from left to right. So you can see that I'm just kind of popping a little bead of glue and I'm tucking these uh, embellishments in right behind the vase. And because the vase has a lot of yellow in it with that little tiny pop of innocent pink, it's kind of popping so you can really get its shape and look and feel that it is a vase. And I've got all of these leafery pieces and that little bloom, that little forsythia bloom coming out that just kind of draws your eye out a little bit with that yellow. So I've got all of these little leafery pieces that are in the jelly bean green and the fresh asparagus. They've got a nice contrast between the two colors and I'm just tucking them in like they're popping out of the vase. And it's just, I'm just digging it. I love the contrast in these colors. And then we also have the card base that's fresh asparagus that just gives it that extra little pop outside of the scallop die. So all of the colors and the combination of colors are just working really harmoniously together and I'm just loving it. And you get two cards for one base die. It's just kind of super fun. And I'm just kind of noodling around and lifting up the edges to give a little bit of extra texture and dimension. And I'm just loving the way these two cards look. They were super simple to create. I kind of created them in a little bit of a mass producing kind of way where I stamped all of the elements out first and then we die cut them. And then we just assembled these really pretty cards together. I hope you enjoyed today's card tutorial. I had a lot of fun sharing this with you. I have a free card idea sheet download for you. The link is in the description with eight super fun ideas using the Fearless Joy stamp set. So if you haven't grabbed that free card idea download, the link is down below in the description. Just click on the link and go ahead and download and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. And I'm sharing more card and watercolor tutorial videos for your inspiration right here. So come on in and take a peek at my tutorials. I have a lot to share and I'll see you next time.